Hello and welcome ladies and gentlemen to the third video in this new and exciting playlist and this one will be about ability pruning. So let's start. Over the years we've added significantly more new spells and abilities to the game than we've removed. This has led to the complexity of the game increasing steadily over time to the point we are at now, where players feel like they need dozens of keybinds. There are many niche abilities which could theoretically be useful in some rare cases but usually are not. There are many abilities that we'd be better off not having. We decided that we need to make a strong push for paring down the number of abilities each class and spec has. That means making some abilities restricted to certain specs that really need them instead of being class wide and outright removing some other abilities. It also includes removing some spellbook clutter such as passives that could be merged with others or base abilities. However, this doesn't mean that we want to reduce the depth of gameplay or dumb it down. We still want there to be interesting decisions during combat and for skill to matter. But that doesn't require complexity. We can remove some needless complexity and still retain the depth and skill variants. One type of ability we focused on is temporary buffs cooldowns. Removing those also helps achieve one of our other goals, which is to reduce the amount of cooldown stacking in the game. In cases where a class spec had multiple cooldown that typically ended up getting used together, often in a single macro, we merged them or removed some of them. What abilities and spells got cut is a very difficult question to answer. Every ability is vital to someone so we don't take this process lightly. We hope that even if we cut your favorite ability, you can see it in the context of our larger goals. It's important to remember that the point of these changes is to increase players' ability to understand the game, not to reduce depth of gameplay. And here is the list of the changes. So in general, the levels at which you will learn class abilities have been revised to provide a smoother leveling flow. Death Knight. Army of the Dead now deals 75% less damage and is only available to Blood Death Knights. Dual Wield is now only available to Frost Death Knights. Horden of Winter no longer generates runic power, has no cooldown and lasts one hour. Necrotic Strike is now learned only by Frost and Unholy Death Knights. Raise Dead is now only available to Unholy Death Knight, summons a ghoul as a permanent pet and has one minute cooldown. Master of Ghouls has been removed. Rune Strike now replaces Death Coil for Blood Death Knights. Frost Strike now replaces Death Coil for Frost Death Knights. And Obliterate now replaces Blood Strike for Frost Death Knight. Unholy Frenzy has been removed. Druid. Enrage has been removed, Innervade has been removed, mana costs for druids have been adjusted accordingly. Mangle from cat form has been removed, Mangle in bear form remains unchanged. Nourish has been removed, Shred is now available to all druids. Swipe in bear form has been removed and Swipe in cat form remains unchanged. Symbiosis has been removed, oh no. Hunter. Arcane Shot is no longer available to Marksmanship Hunters. Throw of the Hunt now also reduces the cost of Aimed Shot when active to preserve its value to Marksmanship Hunters. Aspect of the Hog has been removed. Aspect of the Iron Hog has been renamed to Iron Hog. Now passively provides 10% damage reduction. Cover has been removed as an ability from pets. Distracting Shot has been removed, Hunter's Mark has been removed, Kill Shot is no longer available to Survival Hunters, Lock and Load has been removed, Black Arrow now naturally has a chance to cause the Lock and Load effect, Stampede is now a level 75 talent replacing Lynx Rush, Lynx Rush has been removed, Rabbit has been removed as a pet ability, Rapid Fire has been removed, Rapid Recuperation has been removed, Serpent Sting and Improved Serpent Sting have been removed, Serpent Spread has been renamed to Serpent Sting and remains as a passive for survival hunters. It causes Multi-Shot and Arcane Shot to also apply the Serpent Sting Poison which does instant and periodic damage. Widow Venom has been removed and Revive Pet and Men Pet now share one button which toggles based on whether your pet is alive or not. Mage. Arcane Barrage now replaces Fire Blast for Arcane Mages. Arcane Blast now replaces Frost Firebolt for Arcane Mages. Arcane Explosion is now available only to Arcane Mages. 
Blizzard is now available only to Frost Mages. Combustion now replaces Deep Freeze for Fire Mages. Deep Freeze is now available only to Frost Mages. Dragon's Breath now replaces Cone of Cold for Fire Mages. Evocation is now available only to Arcane Mages. Flame Strike is now available only to Fire Mages. Pyromaniac has been removed. Frost Armor is now available only to Frost Mages and is now a passive effect. Ice Lance now replaces Fire Blast and is only available to Frost Mages. Mage Armor is now available only to Arcane Mages and is now a passive effect. Mana Gems have been removed. Molten Armor is now only for Fire Mages and is a passive effect. And Chatter is now only available to Frost Mages. Monks. Avert Harm has been removed, Clash has been removed, Adaptation has been removed, and Power Guard has been removed. Disable is now available only to Windwalker Monks. Healing Sphere, the spell, not any other source of Healing Spheres, has been removed. Miss Fever's Gift of the Serpent, Brewmaster's Gift of the Axe, and Windwalker's Afterlife still summon Healing Spheres. Surging Mist is now available to all Monk specializations. It costs 30 energy in Ox or Tiger Stance and continues to cost mana in Serpent Stance and Crane Stance. However, it only generates Chi for Mistweaver Monks. Stance of the Spirited Crane now replaces Stance of the Fierce Tiger for Mistweaver Monks. Stance of the Sturdy Ox now replaces Stance of the Fierce Tiger for Brewmaster Monks. Paladins. Avenging Wrath is now only available to Retribution Paladins. Devotion Aura is no longer available for Protection Paladins. Divine Light has been renamed to Holy Light. Divine Plea has been removed. Mana costs for Paladins have been adjusted accordingly. Guardian of the Ancient Kings is now only available to Protection Paladins. Hand of Salvation has been removed. Holy Light has been removed. And Inquisition has been removed. Priests. Binding Heal is no longer available to Shadow Priests, Hymn of Hope has been removed, Heal has been removed, Greater Heal has been renamed to Heal, Inner Focus no longer provides any mana cost reduction, Rapture has been removed, Renew is now available only to Holy Priests, Shadow Word Death is now only available to Shadow Priests, Void Shift has been removed, Inner Fire has been removed, and Inner Will has been removed. Rogues. Disarmed Trap has been removed, Rupture is no longer available to Combat Rogues, and Shadow Blades has been removed. Shamans. Ancestral Awakening has been removed, Feral Spirit no longer has the Spirit Bite ability, Flame Tongue Weapon is no longer available to Restoration Shamans, Frostburn Weapon is now available only to Enhancement Shamans, Greater Healing Wave has been removed to Healing Wave, Healing Tide Totem is now available only to Restoration Shamans, Healing Wave has been removed. Lava Burst now replaces Primal Strike for Elemental and Restoration Shamans. Magma Totem is now available only to Enhancement Shamans. Rock Bitter Weapon has been removed, oh no. Static Shock has been removed. Storm Strike and Storm Blast now deal 30% more damage when Lightning Shield is active. Storm Lash Totem has been removed. Searing Flames has been removed, Flame Tongue weapon damage has been increased by 40% and Lava Lash damage has been increased to 280% weapon damage up from 140% weapon damage to compensate. Water Shield is now available only to Restoration Shamans and replaces Lightning Shield. Warlocks. All of the various Soulburn effects are learned together with Soulburn instead of at different levels. Curse of Exhaustion and Curse of Elements now affect all enemies within 10 yards of the target. Metamorphosis, Cursed Aura has been removed. Curse of Exhaustion and Curse of Elements no longer gain a benefit from Soulburn. Fire and Brimstone no longer applies to Curses. Drain Life no longer gains benefit from Soulburn. Drain Soul has been removed. Fell Flame has been removed. Health Funnel no longer gains a benefit from Soulburn. Metamorphosis Void Ray has been removed and Metamorphosis Carrion Swarm has been removed. Pyroclasm has been removed. The altered behavior it granted for Chaos Bolt is now baseline to Backdraft. Seed of Corruption now replaces Reign of Fire for Affliction Warlocks. Soul Shatter has been removed. Unending Breath no longer gains a benefit from Soulburn. Warriors. Battle Shout now lasts one hour and no longer generates rage. Berserker Rage no longer generates rage or increases physical damage dealt. Berserker Stance has been removed? What? Oh no. Cleave has been removed. Commanding Shout now lasts one hour and no longer generates rage. Demonizing Banner has been removed. Hamstring is now a passive ability that causes Mortal Strike, Bloodthirst, Revenge and Raging Blow to also reduce the target's movement speed by 50% for 15 seconds. Rallying Cry is no longer available to Protection Warriors. Recklessness is now available only to Fury and Arms Warriors. Skill Banner has been removed. Throw has been removed. Thunderclap is no longer available to Fury Warriors and Whirlwind is now available 
available only to Fury Warriors. <sighs> and that's it. That's all the changes to all the classes we know so far. And that's it for this video. I hope you liked it. I hope you learned something new. And I uh, thank you a lot for watching. I will see you next time. Bye bye.